Hello, hello. I hope this video finds you well. Today I'm continuing on with progress updates on two mushroom supplies grow bags that I put into fruiting conditions on October 5th. In the last video, we saw that the bag I'm fruiting in the max yield bin popped quite a few pins around October 15th, 10 days into fruiting conditions. This is footage from that day. Now we cut to October 19th, 14 days into fruiting conditions, and hey, we've got some mushrooms that are gonna be ready to harvest really soon, as well as some others that won't be too far behind. This footage was taken kinda of late at night, so I figured at this stage where the mushrooms develop the quickest, I'd more than likely need to harvest the next morning. And I wasn't wrong, here we are early in the morning on October 20th, 15 days into fruiting conditions, and it's time to harvest some mushrooms. Now unfortunately, I was really pressed for time on this morning, so I didn't have time to break out the camera and film. I just had to harvest the mushrooms that were ready and get them in the dehydrator quickly before I had to leave for the day, so that's what I did. And here's what I harvested, leaving some of the mushrooms on the cake to mature a bit more. The ones I left on the cake were ready for harvest about 12 hours later, and all told, this first flush yielded right around 12 grams dried. Nothing crazy, but also not too shabby. Now we fast forward seven days to October 27th, 22 days into fruiting conditions. As you can see, we have another little flush that's just about ready to be harvested. This footage was taken in the morning, and later that day, these were ready to go. They turned out to be four grams dried, making the total haul from this grow bag 16 grams so far. Now, one of the things I'm noticing here is that a ton of pins on this cake ended up becoming aborts. You can see the pins that have darkened and stopped developing. Those are the aborts. I decided not to pick them since it's my understanding that they'll just be reclaimed by the mycelium and there's no real need to mess with removing them. So I'm just keeping an eye on this cake to see if it will produce any more viable fruits. Now we cut to the other grow bag, still on October 27th. We're finally seeing some mushrooms from this bag. I've mentioned before how this bag has been slow with everything, and the fruiting has been no exception. So it was cool to see that we're finally getting fruits here, but one of the things that's concerning me is that these guys are really small and the stipes are kind of spindly. So at this point, I'm starting to think that I may need to change things up soon. Cut to the next day, October 28th, and there were two mushrooms with tearing veils, so I went ahead and harvested them. Here you can see what I'm talking about with the small size and the spindly stipes. On the bag, I also noticed that there were some pins developing below the rubber band, so I made the decision to completely remove this cake from the bag. And what I found was that this cake was extremely moist, almost waterlogged. So suddenly it started to make sense to me why the mycelium was slow to colonize and the fruiting situation has been like it has. Way too much moisture. So the plan is to give this guy some time to dry up a bit. Cut to October 30th, two days after removing the bag completely. The mushrooms you see here have stalled on development, so I went ahead and harvested them to clear this cake and give it a chance to produce more in its new environmental conditions. Hopefully with some time and reduction in moisture, we can get some better fruits from this guy, fingers crossed. All right, and here's an update on the North Spore grain bag I inoculated on October 2nd. This footage is from October 27th, 25 days after inoculation, and we have some great mycelium growth happening. Really healthy, no metabolites, looks great. And given that this bag was about 30% colonized, I went ahead and did a break and shake on it on that day. And here's the mushroom supplies grow bag that I inoculated on October 2nd. Still progressing, but I'm not gonna do a break and shake on it just yet. Just gonna let it keep going. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, be well.